Shah. He is from the Infosys, where there was also talk earlier of Mr. Narayan Murthy, uh, perhaps also standing for the post of president. As a non-politician, what is your view? Should the next president be a politician or someone like Abdul Kalam? Well, we need to understand that uh, we are possibly the youngest large nation in the world. We have 650 million people below the age of 30. And across all these young people, Dr. Kalam has connected very well. Young people see in Dr. Kalam their vision for the country. They get connected with him. They get excited with him. They see him as a role model. So I think because young people like him, he has connected, he has moved on with them, he has given them a vision, he's the right person. We need to understand that we have to be very inclusive and we have to do something for young people. We have not taken care of future generations. So, Mr. Pai, I take it that you support President Kalam, Kalam for a second term but not Mr. Narayan Murthy, is that correct? I support Dr. Kalam for the second term because he's been a wonderful president. I'm not talking about Narayan Murthy at all. Why not give another chance to uh, someone Dr. else? Kalam and you can see. Why not then give a chance to someone else? Well, if you want to give some... If, if you want to give a chance to somebody else, you have to find a role model like Dr. Kalam, who I think should connect with young people. Because uh, young people make up the majority of this country, and they need a role model. All right, I, I need some. Should go I need back to anybody. On the show, Mr. Pai, again, I'm sorry to refer to you as that, but then to contrast this, just to get a different point of view, would you imagine that this is true? That what our politicians are telling us that caste, religion, the geographical area they come from, the gender, they all don't matter in the selection of the president? Well, I think they should not matter because the most competent person should be president. We had uh, Dr. Rajendra Babu, we had Savarpali Radhakrishnan, we had Dr. Zakir Hussain. No, the question to you is not whether they should not too. matter, but whether you believe the politicians who tell us that they should not matter, that they don't matter in the selection of the president. I think they do matter. Do They do matter. If you look at some of the recent uh, entrants, particularly in the emergency, they do matter. I think it does matter. Back of hand does matter. Every political party wants to make sure that its nominee uh, whatever be the background, he's made the president because ultimately, uh, you know, the president does have uh, a lot of uh, rights, to rights for everybody else. Okay. So I think I think they do they do use that, but. Mr. Pai, one quick question to you is, do you see the controversies that President Kalam created? You know, the Office of Prophet Bill, the, uh, also the Bihar Assembly dissolution. Do you think any of these controversies actually are now coming in the way perhaps of President Kalam getting a second term? I don't think so. I think people in this country saw him as a very honest man making a sincere attempt to take the right decision. And I think in most cases he took the right decision. The people of the country felt so. They supported him in all his decisions. And it's quite possible that some people may not agree. But I think he's a very sincere, honest man, very humble, very capable. And he took the decision according to his conscience. So okay. I think people are very comfortable with what he did. Uh